Hello everybody and welcome on board this Sunwind 29 for a look around her interior to give you an idea of her layout, where things are fitted, what she consists of, etc, etc. So at the moment I'm standing in the saloon looking aft towards the companionway, so uh, no better place to start than the companionway. So as you can see, we have a nice, easy, wide, good length here to get through and down. Small lip, we have to jump over the, the main sheet traveller to get down. And once we're in, we've got uh, quite an unusual affair really. We've got the engine box here uh, with a lovely little uh, uh, beater in there, uh, twin cylinders, and uh, we've got the, the ladder coming down here, so nice and easy to get down, fairly steep I'd say, and uh, I am i can't undo all the catches with one hand, so there's a catch here, here, here and here, and uh, one on top. This lid does uh, lift up so you can have a look inside, but the whole lot comes away quite easily and gives you good access to the front and the top of the engine, no worries at all. Now behind that we can see we've got the fridge bits and pieces, we've got uh, uh, alarms, we've got the electrical panel, we've got the main brake, or the battery isolator, sorry, and uh, an extinguisher as well, so that's uh, well placed. But if you come down there and turn immediately to starboard, that takes us to the nav station in the pilot berth, so we can see that we've got a, a really nice long berth here. Limited headroom, obviously under there, but generally you'll be sleeping probably with your head end down here, but uh, nice and wide, nice and long, no problem at all, and within easy access of the companionway, storage underneath too. Then if you turn around and sit forwards, you've got yourself a really nice, what I would describe as a full-size charge table. A nice plenty of depth here, so room for all of your paper clips, your fluff, your sticky uh, chewing gum and your charts, etc. Storage underneath uh, and... Uh, as with the rest of this boat, the wood looks really great. It's not highly varnished. It looks solid. It doesn't look all watermarked and damaged. It's really nice to be down here. Not bad at all. Now, well, obviously, I have laid on flowers for you, ladies and gentlemen, so I'll move those out of the way carefully. Just have a look behind quickly. But if I just take a seat, um, we can look inside the cupboards here and we find uh, quite some quite old, very vintage instruments, uh, very nice and kitchen, nice to have etc but uh, many people will opt to uh, swap these over for something a bit newer and I think you've got room here to do it you've got room here for some bits and pieces room under here you could replace these if you want there's room in the cupboards if you want to replace those but there's also room up here too so uh, uh, that goes with the rest of the boat actually she's all about lots of room there's just storage absolutely everywhere and hopefully I can point out most of that as we go around as we come down the companion way or go up it we've got handles either side Side. and once we're down we've got uh, this to hang on to we've got this to hang on to and we've got the uh, the edges of the the fiddle here to hang on to and the chain plates coming through etc so plenty of things to grasp uh, until we get to uh, yeah within the saloon itself no problem at all so the saloon itself starboard side we can see we've got a nice long sofa very nice and wide as well storage beneath and also storage behind too plenty of we've got storage above we've got a shelf there we can see where the chain plates come through, which I really like. So uh, Mr. Surveyor will like you there. We can easily inspect those. No problem without dismantling half the boat. Lovely, great big shelf above for your bits and pieces. And uh, huge windows on this boat. Now you can see they're slightly crazed. That's happened because of the sun over the years, uh, UV damage, etc. Looks like plexiglass to me. So should be reasonably, I say reasonably easy to change. Don't take my word for it, but uh, it could be a lot worse. Trust me. Looking up at the headlining, you can see, I'm sure most of this boat must be original i mean it's um it's uh it's all the way from uh, the you know up uh, the scandinavian way and uh, it all kind of stays looking good all the time uh, we can see we have a little bit of droop etc we can see the exposed screw heads but i don't think there's anyone that would really need to change this there's a little bit going on down here but generally speaking not bad and here's a hatch here Again, cray, so you might want to change that, but uh, probably more cos cosmetic than anything. But that's the starboard side of the saloon, and we'll just move forwards. And uh, again, look at the wood. Looking great, isn't it? Absolutely looking really good. Little bit of a duck down here. Here is uh, probably about uh, 5 foot 11, possibly 6 feet here. But so uh, nice and easy to get through this door to this compartment, which is the head's compartment, believe it or not. Now, uh, that isn't the head. You don't have to sit there and do your business. We lift the uh, lid up and there is a head inside so uh, once it's away you can put the lid down what a great idea because that then becomes a seat you could put a cushion on it if you want to and just hide the loo away what a fantastic idea um if we open this door behind it 
if I can get my finger in properly, then we can see we've got a huge, great big locker here. There's the flushing mechanism for the loo, sorry, the head. And you can see that I think most some of the headlinings come away here, but uh, I wouldn't bother replacing it either. Uh, but we've got what could be a massive stowage or a massive uh, hanging locker, etc. Somewhere to stick the kids for the weekend, all that kind of thing. Ha ha, please don't do that at home. And uh, if we just turn around, and I'll just close this door to the main saloon there we go so i'm kind of sitting where i would be on the loo and there's a view from the loo you've got the sink in front of us we've got storage beneath and we've got storage behind as well and uh, a window up there with a the fiddled shelf too limited head height in here i'd say it's probably about five foot seven five foot eight but uh, plenty enough for most people now going forward to the forward cabin uh, we've got a uh, sliding door here great space saving why don't all manufacturers do it it means we haven't got doors flapping open and closed well, that takes us to the uh, the close through the closable door through to the forward cabin. Now you can see we've got something going on with the upholstery here. Uh, not quite right, but that could be patched up or changed. Would really lift this area up if we put some nice modern upholstery in here. You can see the the side of the boat here. We can see where the bow flares, so connected with the shape of the boat. This is a kind of a carpet effect. Very very common uh, that we see this kind of thing with with the Scandinavian. This boat does feel Scandinavian through and through. But apart from that, nice long berth. Nice and wide. We've got an infill here, so we can take that away and have a bit of a, a changing lobby there if we want to. And we have a water tank, I believe, up front underneath the um, the, mat the mattresses there. And uh, on the right-hand side here, the, in this bag, I think it's a cruising chute. It might be a spinnaker. Uh, on the left-hand side here, sorry, the port, I should say, we've got the foresail just down here out of the weather, uh, not bent on at the moment onto the furler. All very good. Storage underneath too, and a little bit of access to the bills down there. More access to the bills here, I think. So uh, really great, well thought out. Okay, back out to the saloon. And I'll just come back a little bit so we can see. This is a port side, so we've got C-shaped seating, uh, stowage beneath, stowage behind, as with everything on this boat, stowage above, <laughs> the, uh, the, the shelf there with the chain plates coming through the shelf above that as well lots and lots of storage i keep repeating myself underneath here we have batteries the battery charger uh, we've got a nice table on this boat so uh, we've got uh, two leaves that fold up and, and again look at the wood isn't it great two leaves fold up gives us a great big table here seating for uh, probably six or maybe even eight people around to have their din dins after our day sailing and uh, if we want somewhere to stick our cruet our tomato sauce our secret uh, bottle of whiskey etc that's where that could go no worries here's a quick look at the floor again i mean there's obviously a bit of wear and tear on the floor but a lot better than the age of this boat would suggest so um really rather good the upholstery is good too out here no problem at all again you might want to do something with it if you want to really modernize the boat this makes into a double here we've got a proper board made up underneath there nice thick one so that slots in there we've got a cushion so we've got a nice double bed there should we have the guests in or the kids etc etc and then if we come aft towards the port after section of the main part of the boat the saloon we've got the galley the important galley starting at the top then you can see well we've got a handhold here we've got a handhold here that's, that's a really good idea in a galley we've got a cupboard uh, going fore and aft cupboards fore and aft this uh, this is actually a fridge here but we're not sure if the fridge is working or not so uh, might be something to think about um this uh, boat has had the gas facilities so the gas cooker taken away and replaced by some kind of air fryer and uh, electric induction hob although there is a gas bottle and a gas stowage still in the cockpit if you wanted to redo it you probably could but these owners wanted to do away with the gas making it safer so have just used those and uh, just looking forward you can see we've got a nice sink a decent size as well and uh, in here we've got uh, a nice big locker full of water bottles at the moment etc etc but somewhere to chop somewhere to chop and somewhere to stow stuff and generally speaking a kind of gully that you would expect to see on this boat this type of boat so this has been tim from boat share drop brokers just taking you for a quick look around the interior of this sundwind 29 thanks for watching it's been great to have you along as ever do have a look at the the rest of the advert for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality have a great day